may remember the video on this particular Joker. It's the exclusive from GameStop. I ended up getting one from there and then the other from Walmart. Nevertheless, this was a customized figure and you saw that I changed the face and added some accessories. And while I am happy with what happened here, with what I did, well, it's about time to make another change to it. And the change to this would be the trench coat. Before I left for Mexico City, I came across another seller who had a cloth goods uh, trench coat. And it looked so awesome on the figure that he displayed it on. I had to get one for myself. And while I love the way this looks here with the vinyl or plastic trench coat, let me show you in just a moment how awesome it looks with a cloth goods trench coat. You're just gonna flip over how awesome this is. Now I didn't make this, I bought it from another artist. And yeah, I do buy things from other artists because I just can't make everything. Check this out. It's purple, it's cloth, it's got wire. Boom, this is it. This is so well made for such a tiny size that yeah, it's worth picking up. It was 30 bucks, but it was worth the money. I didn't have to make it. I just had to play with it, put it on the figure. So before we actually put the trench coat on the figure, let me show you what else I did to make it look that much better. I ended up using the torso and I added the torso, the jacket torso itself from a prior version of Joker right on top of the other torso and it just fits like a glove. It was so easy to play uh, to put this in there. Just heat it up with the air dryer and boom you're set. Now the bottom of the new figure, the shirt is black. It obviously doesn't match the yellow. So I have to paint it in a white. And then I have to paint it in a yellow to match. I just switch the arms onto this torso. They clip in perfectly and I switch the hands. So I went ahead and painted the black in a white paint with the Vallejo primer. I'm sorry, the Vallejo premium paints. And then I went back over it with the yellow. However, the yellow that I have is a bit pale. So I had to add a tiny dab of red to make it an orange and it really was a better match for the paint that's on the older torso. Now once I had that done, I went ahead and matched them up. I did have to heat the other torso for the ball peg to snap in there. And since I did heat it, the plastic became soft enough on the jacket that it ended up sticking to the yellow on this part of the shirt. No worries, I'm not gonna be moving the jacket or having any kind of extraneous uh, posing with it, I really want to show it off by having the jacket open, I should say the trench coat open, and showing the shirt and the vest, because it's no longer a jacket, it's a vest, and it just looks really, really good. Let me show you how that turned out. So let's focus on the actual trench coat. It's made of cloth, it looks like it's a cotton, and it does have wire in the belt, and it has wire along the seams of the actual jacket. And now it fits in really, really well, and it's all sewn together. About the only thing that has glue is the actual uh, belt itself. Uh, it doesn't have a buckle on it or belt loops, but that's not a problem. Let me show you here what the belt looks like on its own. It looks like it's a piece of cotton material that's folded over onto itself. It's glued down with the wire in the center. And as I mentioned, there's no sewing on this at all. Now it does have a few frayed uh, threads that are coming out. You can just trim those off and you should be fine. Or you can burn them down with a match. Either way, uh, the cotton will hold once it's uh, treated that way. So I'm just gonna cut mine for now just for video purposes and get this thing rolling here. And they're really tiny, so just a small pair of scissors is gonna be all you need. Nothing very extensive. And there's not a whole lot of them. They're just unsightly when they show up in your 
your pictures or in your video and if you don't want to do this that's fine if you're doing Photoshop you can clone it out for me I'd rather do this ahead of time and not have to do extra editing work later but that's all up to you what you want to do with your particular figure now in this case this comes from Mexico City he is located in Mexico City so I, I did get this mail to me uh, while I was down there and it arrived about three days after I returned and as you can tell opening the coat here you can see the seams on the inside so it shows that he actually did do some sewing there's a few threads here that we can cut down to make it a little bit neater and that's gonna be typical if any of this kind of work so don't be uh, turned off by doing any of this cleanup work it's very very common but in any case there's wire that runs along the edge of the seam on the bottom and along the back where it opens and then along the front where the buttons are on both sides there's no wire in the collar but this allows for lots of flexibility and posing with this coat, especially when you have it open. But let me remove the coat to show you what it looks like on the inside and show you how well it's made. The sleeves are really, really done very neatly. And as you can tell, here's the wire on the inside seam and it is sewn together. This part is not glued, so you know it's gonna hold for a long time. And same thing on the other side, also sewn with an uh, edge wire that goes all the way from the bottom to the edge at the top, and then it stops at the collar. The buttons are also sewn on, so it gives it that more realistic look. They're obviously a little bit oversized than the buttons on the plastic coat, but in any case, it still looks really dynamic. And as you can tell, the sleeves are also really clean and they're also the same size. So this is for 30 bucks, you're getting a really good deal here. You don't have to put things together or hunt down material. All you've got to do is put this onto your figure. So let me put this aside for now and show you what the other details are on the figure because I know you're going to question it even though I'm not going to focus a lot on that simply because some of that work has already been done and I don't have a video to show you on that. But the rest of it happens to be the actual face that I used and I used a Mezco sculpt, a resin head that I had to paint. I had to cut off the neck to make it fit onto the neck that's on this torso. Now this has a whole different look than the other. And I chose the sleeves from the older figure because I wanted a contrast. I didn't want double sleeves of the same product or the trench coat. So I wanted a contrast and the yellow uh, sleeves that come through on the purple give it an awesome contrast against the other purple. I kept the gloves because they match the pants, but it really looks that much more dynamic. Now, as you can tell, it's no longer a jacket. It's a vest now because I cut off the actual coattails. And that's not even going to show when you have the coat open. That's not even the attention. As you can tell, the back, the shirt, yeah, the yellow is showing. But again, the trench coat is going to cover all that. This is the head sculpt that I used and I did have to drill it down to fit over this neck and it fits so much better because the other sculpt was a little bit smaller and it was not an exact fit and this provides better articulation and it really looks that much better. It's a whole different joker. Now if you have any interest in picking up a copy of this trench coat for yourself, I'm going to leave the link in the description and you can then contact him and he is in Mexico City. He will ship out to you. It'll take a few weeks to get to you, but you'll have something that is totally unique. I don't make these and honestly I don't want to. They're a little more complicated than I want to get into, but he did a really great job. He's a good tailor. So this is what your figure is going to look like. So I'm going to leave you with some video of the finished product. And just remember, 
that the algorithm for YouTube is run by the likes and the comments and subscriptions. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much for doing so. If you have not, I hope to see you in the next uh, video that I put out on customizing figures. But if at all you're inclined to do so, please give it a like and a comment. Any questions you place, I will do my best to answer them, but keep in mind that the description will have the link to the product that you're looking at in the video so that you can also have a copy for yourself. Once again, the trench coat is made by Villains Never Die. You can find him on Instagram and Facebook. And then you can have your figures up to par. In the meantime, keep customizing those figures. We'll see you here next time. Thank you.